Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, overcame death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that we who celebrate with joy the day of the Lord's resurrection may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts. Peter began to speak to Cornelius and the other Gentiles. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. How he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as the judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes, but Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she left, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and she told them all that he had said to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. May what I say and what you hear be in the name of God. Amen. Well, certainly this day is a bit different than I'm sure many had planned. It is a different day in so many ways. One can only imagine crowds of people gathering, parking lots full, birds singing and banks of flowers everywhere, gathering for that special meal of the day, pimento cheese sandwiches and egg salad sandwiches. The fairways emerald green, the greens clipped and manicured to perfection. It is certainly a different day than many had planned for this day. But for us gathered here this morning, it is different in another way. It is different because the events of this day were made different by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As the women went to that tomb, their full expectation was that they were going to find the body of Jesus. That they were going to do the proper thing of anointing, of making the body ready, of doing what they expected to do. But because of the action of God and in and through His power, everything that they expected changed. Everything that we have come to expect from that point on has changed as well. We are gathered here this morning. We are gathered together wherever we may be to give thanks to give thanks that that which, which we have 
should by nature expect has been transformed. And that which is dead has been given new life. And that we in and through the power of God himself in the person of Jesus have come to expect new and greater things. The day is different. We don't celebrate it the way we had expected. But in so many ways that seems so appropriate. Because this day, no matter what the year, no matter how it's celebrated, is a day for something different. It is a day for that which is old to be made new. It is a day for dead to come to life. It is a day for us to begin experiencing the new life that God has in store for us. The great thing about this day, the masters have, might have to be officially rescheduled for another day, but every Sunday, every Sunday that we gather together, we celebrate the joy and power of Easter Day. For it is the Lord's Day, and we are made new in and through it. Thanks be to God, we are called together today to give thanks that everything that we have grown to expect has changed. It has been changed not because of a virus or because of scheduling or because of whatever, but it has changed because of the person of Jesus who lives in each and every one of us and brings us to new life with him. As Jesus in, in, exited that tomb, we exit with him from the old ways to the new ways that God has in store. So let us this Sunday, let us every Sunday, let us every day celebrate with joy the new life that we have been given in and through the power of Jesus. Amen. Let us stand and affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of light, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God.
Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church on this Easter day as we are physically separated. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for the welfare of our congregation in Dublin, Christ Church, and in our companion diocese of the Dominican Republic, for St. Thomas in Gautier. We pray for our presiding Bishop Michael, our Bishop Scott, and our Bishop-elect Frank, for our clergy George, John, Bill, and Irwin, for our seminarian Rainey, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for our president, Donald, for our governors, Brian and Henry, for the leadership of the CSRA, and for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. We pray for all health care providers and all those whom you have called to the study of medicine and the practice of medicine, and the prevention of disease and pain. When they feel overwhelmed by their numbers of the suffering, uphold them in their fatigue and banish their despair. Let them see with your eyes so they may know all their patience is precious. Give comfort and renew their energy and compassion. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, especially those whose lives are affected by this pandemic. That they may be delivered from their distress. We pray for all who have died, especially Zabala and William. Give to the departed eternal rest, O Lord. Let the light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we, May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. We pray for the special needs and concerns of this congregation, especially Tally, Mary, Rebecca, Reese, Jane, Becky, Erwin, Margaret, Brian, Paulette, Cindy, Aria, Anthony, Bill, Margaret, Martha, George, Lewis, Sid, Bob, Pete, Reba, Keisha, Lois, Alice, Norm, Julie, Daryl, Shelby, Teresa, Bernice, Julie, Harry, Zelda, Barbara, Edna, Mary, Rusty, Jeff, Bill, and Mary. Let us pray for our own needs and the needs of others. Almighty God, to whom our needs are known before we ask, help us to ask only what, what accords with your will and those good things which we dare not and in our blindness cannot ask. Grant us for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. So it's good to have all of you here as we gather this morning to give thanks for the glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ and as we join our voices wherever they are in this opportunity for praise and thanksgiving. We are glad you're here and that you are a part of this today. We do ask that you come back and be with us in person when we are so allowed, and we look forward to that time when we can physically be present together. 
I do want to remind you that if you would like to participate in tomorrow's annual meeting here at St. Paul's, there is a link on our website that you can find to gather by Zoom as we have our 270th, I believe, 270th, I think, uh, annual meeting of St. Paul's Church. So we do hope to have a good crowd here virtually for that service. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God. with you and, and also, also with you. you lift up your hearts we lift, we lift them, them to, to the Lord. Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it, it is, is right, right to give, give him thanks, thanks and praise. praise 
It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb, who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again, he is one for us, everlasting life. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself, in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died, Christ, Christ is risen, risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia! These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, and may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you now and remain with you always. Amen.
Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Mm.